All right. Well, here we are for another virtual chapel. Um, would love to just uh, have some worship time together. Before we do that, I want to give a moment uh, for you to pray, and then I'll pray. Dear God, we thank you for um, the ability to still gather through technology. And God, as we, as we worship you now, as we spend time singing praises, let us be reminded of who you are and your great love for us. And uh, Lord, we do pray for those who might be sick right now, that you would heal them, help them to get the help they need. We pray for people around our world who are taking care of others, that you would strengthen them, that you would give them what they need and give them rest extra portion of grace and protection of God. Love you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, let's, uh, just a little bit, we're going to sing, uh, uh, we're going to talk about John 316. So I thought we'd sing about that right now. We might close with one other little chorus. So, all right, here we go. John 316 says that God so loved the world, gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in me never dies. John three sixteen says that God so loved the world, gave His only begotten Son. That whoever believes in Him never dies. Well, it's good being able to worship together, and um, this is a special week. Um, I know it's a little different, but this is the week that we think about um, Easter coming up. We think about Good Friday. A lot of times we might call this week Holy Week. It was the last week of Jesus's life when he would go and face the cross, and then and then there would be Easter Sunday. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about that with you guys today, but. I thought it's always fun to uh, talk with Miss Lisa and some of the friends she brings. And so I thought I'd maybe call her and see if uh, she can join us again. So let's see if she's around. Let's see here. Miss Lisa. Oh, I see your name. Looks like she, 
Hello? Can you Hi, Miss Lisa? Yeah, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, no. Wait, I wonder. Let me make sure my volume is turned up here. Let's see. All these fun times. <gasps> Miss Lisa? Hello? I'm using Miss Lisa's computer, and I have the volume turned all the way down. That's why I couldn't hear oh, you. Hi. I've done that before, too. That's okay. I'm learning things. <laughs> yes, Miss Lisa, you have a new friend there with you today. I do, and she's extremely excited to get to do chapel with us today. Her oh. name her name is Penny. Penny, would you like to introduce yourself to all the boys and girls? Hello. Where are they? Well, they're watching us um, on, on the TV or on the computer. Oh, hello, boys and girls and Pastor Brian. My name is Penny. Oh, oh Penny. Penny, what, oh. Kind of a, what kind of an animal are you, Penny? I think... What kind of animal am I? You know what kind of animal you are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. Wait, you're... Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pig. P-I-G-G. I, I see. You know, you have very cool pig ears and a, and a really neat pig nose. I noticed that. You and have a nice pig, pig nose. You have a good pig nose, too. Don't say that. <laughs> it's a compliment. Oh, okay. All right. I knew that. It's a compliment. You, yeah, sure. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> Now, Penny, where do you uh, where do you live? I know. You, I guess you're in town visiting. Where do you normally live? I live out on a farm in Texas, a long, long way out into the country. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. What are some of your favorite foods, Penny, that you like to eat out on the farm? Oh, I like to eat anything that anyone will put in my little trough. I'll eat it, like anything, like potato peels and banana peels and. Oh, that's, are you, are you sure you don't like anything good? Like, like, it is good. It's all good. Oh, yeah. I, oh, like, I know you like lasagna. I like lasagna. Yes, I do. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. And uh, what, now, Penny, what, what is one of your favorite hobbies? What do you like to do when you have some free time? I like to read, read, read. Oh, I like to do lots of reading. That is awesome. Well, you must be pretty smart. Oh, uh, am I smart? Yes, I think you're very, very smart. Yes. And that's it's good that you read a lot. That's good. I am so enjoying getting to know you. Uh, oh, actually, you know what, Penny? I, I gotta go grab some real quick. Hold on. What? What? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What's the matter? He he disappeared. Oh oh, I'm sure he'll be back. No no! Oh, this is the worst thing ever. What is his mommy put him in a timeout and he can't come anymore? Or what if he lost all his toys and he died of sadness? <laughs> oh, Penny, 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 now listen, listen, I'm sure he's fine. He probably just needed to go do something and he's going to be right back. He's not right back. See, now, he's, he should be here now. No, 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 it's okay. I want, <gasps> look, 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 look. Oh, hello. Hey, are you okay? I, I, I heard you sound like you got, you got kind of uh, scared and upset. I'm, I'm sorry if I upset you. It, it's okay. Remember, he's there. See him? Oh, I thought you had disappeared forever. <laughs> oh, and that's the dog barking. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, even the dog got a little upset. I think the dog even was a little scared. Right. I think that I think that that's my dog Oscar, and I think he did get a little bit upset. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Penny, I'm so I'm sure sorry that I scared you, but you know I was working on something that um, I'm going to show you in just a little bit, okay? And you know, uh, Penny, um, it reminds me. So this week is the week that we remember what Jesus did for us. We call it Holy Week. And did you know that he had twelve disciples? Um, that uh, followed him and that learned from Jesus and that would go on to start the church. And, uh, you know, those disciples, those last few days when Jesus was on earth, they were pretty scared, you know, and, and I, I have a little uh, plate here. You see, what kind of a face is that? Oh, that's a very sad face. Yeah, it's a very sad face. You know, there was a point um, the night before Jesus would have to go to the cross um, he was, one of the things he was talking to them about was that he was going to have to leave. And, um, and they didn't want him to leave. They were very, very sad. They said, Jesus, we don't want you to leave. Why? Jesus, why does this have to happen? He says, I'm going to be taken away and I'm going to have to go and die on a cross. How mm -hmm. do you think that made them feel, Penny? Uh, I think it made them very, very sad. Uh, they were very, very sad. 
that's right. And they, you know, they didn't understand. They, they thought, well, you're supposed to be the Messiah. You're supposed to be this wonderful ruler. You're this teacher. You did all these wonderful things and you helped people. And we were going to, you were going to sit on the throne, Jesus. And why do you have to go die? They just didn't understand. And they were very, very sad. You know, why did you, why would you have to leave us? And, uh, you know, Penny, sometimes God is doing things and he is working, but we can't always see everything that he's doing, right? And this is a good reminder. The disciples didn't understand and they couldn't understand everything that God was doing. And so Jesus, what is this a picture of? Oh, that's a cross. It's a cross. That's a cross, right? And so Jesus on, in a few days, we will remember Good Friday. Good Friday is the day we remember that Jesus went and he died on a cross. It was a very hard thing, a very sad thing that he had to do. Um, But in just a moment, we're going to talk about why he had to do that. But the disciples didn't understand, and they were very, very sad. And then the unthinkable happened. He died, and they took Jesus, and they put his body in a tomb, and they rolled a big rock over the entrance. And then Saturday came. And, you know, just kind of like, remember when I got out of the screen? Uh Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hi. (laughs) Well, on that Saturday, it was just an empty screen. All they could see was, I guess Jesus is dead and it's over. And they thought, well, maybe we're just going to go back and be fishermen. And we everything that we thought God was doing it's all lost. It was a really, really sad and confusing day because that's all they could see. They couldn't see past Saturday. But Penny, do you know what the, what's the day after Saturday in the week? Sunday. Sunday, right. What day do we celebrate Easter on? Sunday. Very good, Penny. I can tell you know the story, don't you? Well, they couldn't see Sunday that first Easter. All they saw was Saturday. But I want to show you something. There's more to this story, okay? And so I'm going to, there, did you know there's more to my porch than just this swing right here? I'm going to, I'm going to turn my computer around. Really? And I'll you what I was working on. So here we go. I'm going to turn my computer okay. around. Oh, wow. This is going to be great. Look. Oh, there's more. Look. Well, another there's part another of my porch here. I got some chairs over here. And I'm going to, I want to show you what I was working on a minute ago, okay? I had to go okay. get it. Now I've got this plate right here. All right, now I'm not the greatest artist in the world, right? But it's fun to draw. But what I've tried to draw, and I, I wrote it up here, it says an empty tomb, right? So Penny, on Sunday morning, they thought they were gonna go and see Jesus's body still in the tomb. But was his, was there still a dead body in the tomb? Um, Jesus- no way. Jesus was alive, right? They went, the tomb was empty, just like he had promised that he would ra- he'd be raised on the third day. This was an incredible thing. And I want to show you one of my favorite Bible verses. Penny, I bet you've probably heard this verse before. This is a book oh. I had over here. This is what I was working on. Here's what it says. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Real life that never, right? And so, Penny, let's just wrap this up, right? So, Jesus, he had to go to the cross, right? In order to pay for our sins. If he didn't go to the cross, then there's no way we could be forgiven, right? Penny, you think, can you live a perfect life, Penny? Oh, no way, Jose. No way. Miss Lisa can't live a perfect life. Pastor oh, yeah. Brian certainly can't live a perfect life. We needed Jesus. This is the only way. God loved us so much that he gave his son for us. And that means that he even went and died on a cross so we could be forgiven. And again, yes, that was sad, but God was working this amazing plan off in the this other day we couldn't see yet. So let's go back to Sunday. Oh, 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 cool. Because he died on the cross, he was able to make a way where we could live forever, Penny. Isn't that amazing? 
that's yeah. the, the beautiful thing about Easter is that God turns this really sad and horrible thing that happened on Friday. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Life is happening around here. But he turned yeah. it around and he did something amazing. And that 2,000 years later, Penny, we're sitting here and we have an opportunity today to put our trust in <laughs> Somebody really wants to get a hold of this. Say it one more time. Yeah. So, Brian. Penny, we're sitting here 2,000 years later because of what Jesus did. And we can ask Jesus in our heart today. Isn't that amazing? And thousands and millions of people all around the world will be celebrating Easter all because of what he did on the cross. He went through a really hard thing, a very sad day, but God did something amazing through that. And we can ask Jesus in our heart and believe in him. And that's so cool. We can live forever and be forgiven. So remember that and remember, Penny and Miss Lisa, whenever we're maybe in a sad day or we're in a day where we don't feel like, where is God? God, where are you? Sometimes we might feel that way. Remember, he is always listening. He's always working. And he's, and in fact, Romans 8, 28 said he's working all things together for good. Just like he did, he worked even that really sad day of Good Friday into Easter. He still does that even today. All right? Oh, that's wonderful. Awesome. Well, Penny, can, can we pray together? Can I pray for us? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Dear God, we thank you so much for the reminder that the amazing story of Easter that Jesus, he went through some really, really tough things for us. And I can't imagine how sad that must have felt for those disciples. But we thank you that because you did that, it was part of an amazing plan, God, that we could be forgiven and have eternal life. And you still work in amazing ways now. So Lord, help this to be a really, really special Easter and help all of us to share with the world that God, you're a God who loves us so much that you sent your only son so that when we believe in him, we won't perish, but have everlasting life. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, Miss Lisa Amen. and Penny and everybody, I hope you all have a really, really happy Easter. And maybe we can see each other next week. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.